In this video we share Our Lady of Kibaho and Medjugorje. Our Lady of Kibaho, which appeared in Rwanda, is one of the official apparitions recognized by the Catholic Church. And there are relevant similarities with Medjugorje. Let's delve into these aspects. Father René Lawantan, one of the most respected Mariologists, in his book has collected over 2,000 extraordinary interventions of the Madonna. Of all these apparitions, the Church has officially approved only 15, and two others are recognized as de facto. Of these de facto apparitions, the first is that of Our Lady in Guadeloupe in Mexico, and the second is that which took place in Paris, in Rue du Bac, where the Blessed Virgin Mary appeared to St. Catherine Labour. In this second apparition, the bishop, in a pastoral letter, granted authorization for the use of that medal, the miraculous medal, whose minting was requested by the Madonna. For the apparitions of Guadeloupe, the bishop, while not publishing a decree, had a chapel built in the place indicated by the Madonna. The apparition of Our Lady in Kibaho in Rwanda is one of 15 apparitions recognized by the Church, and has many similarities to the apparitions in Medjugorje. Both took place in the 80s, Kibaho from 1981 to 1986, those of Medjugorje, began in 1981 and are still ongoing. In both cases the apparitions of the Virgin were very numerous. Another interesting thing is that there were several people who saw Our Lady in Kibaho, even if the Church has only recognized those owned by Alphonsine, Anathalie, and Marie Claire. As in those of Medjugorje, there were apparitions to several visionaries at the same time. In Kibaho, in some visions Our Lady foretold the war, and the seers saw terrible scenes of killings and massacres, which then took place, some years later. Likewise, also in Medjugorje Our Lady invited us to pray for peace. And war broke out in the Balkans ten years after the apparitions began. Finally, in her massages, the Virgin Mary who appeared in Kibaho, also recognized as the Virgin of Sorrows, insisted so much on three things, prayer, fasting and conversion. As Our Lady in Medjugorje suggested and still suggests after 37 years. The world is plagued by wars, killings and genocides. Mary, in her apparitions, suggests using the rosary as a weapon to fight these evils. Visionary Lucy of Fatima said that there is no problem, material or spiritual, national or international, that cannot be solved with the rosary and sacrifices. Fasting should be considered among the sacrifices. Padre Pio called the rosary his weapon, the most powerful weapon with which we can defend ourselves in battle. From the earliest days of the apparitions in Medjugorje, the Queen of Peace invites us to pray, to use the rosary, as she did on August 13, 1981, saying, Pray the rosary every day. Pray together. When going to Medjugorje or any Marian shrine, one of the things pilgrims buy is a rosary. Buying the crown is only the first step, the important thing is to start reciting it every day. Taking the rosary in hand, one takes Mary by the hand and together with her one faces prayer and the day. On November 28, 1983, Our Lady said to the visionary Yelena, who had only interior locutions. Turn to my Immaculate Heart with these words of consecration. O Immaculate Heart of Mary, ardent with goodness, show your love for us. The flame of your heart, O Mary, descend upon all men. We love you immensely. Imprint true love in our hearts so that we have a continuous longing for you. O Mary, humble and meek of heart, remember us when we sin. You know that all men sin. Give us, through your immaculate heart, to be healed of all spiritual sickness. Grant that we can always look to the goodness of your motherly heart and that we convert through the flame of your heart. Amen. Thank you for supporting my channel. May God bless you and keep you. Our Lady, Queen of Peace, pray for us.